UK-based Pioneer Vertical Aerospace has confirmed that its new full-scale VX4 electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft prototype has completed its first tethered piloted flight just over a week after the unveiling of the aircraft. The huge milestone was achieved late in the afternoon on July 25, 2024 at Cotswolds Airport in England with Vertical Aerospace's chief test pilot Justin Paines at the controls. The eVTOL performed the flight while loosely tethered to the ground as vertical engineers measured over 20,000 flight and system parameters to verify thrust, handling qualities, and system performance. Leading up to the test flight, the VX4 successfully completed extensive ground testing, including powered propulsion testing of its advanced powertrain. The powertrain features proprietary battery packs designed and constructed in-house at the Vertical Energy Center, which are capable of delivering 1.4 megawatts of peak power. The first tethered flight of our new VX4 prototype is the result of 14 months of hard work. Taking this advanced aircraft all the way from design, through to development, and now into the air. This moment is testament to the skill and commitment of hundreds of talented colleagues in our business who have made VX4 aircraft the best eVTOL out there, said Stuart Simpson, CEO of Vertical Aerospace, who also added that everyone at Vertical Aerospace remains laser focused on achieving piloted transition as we continue to progress towards our ultimate goal of commercialization and creating a new legacy for aviation. The tethered piloted flight was made possible following the UK Civil Aviation Authority issuing Vertical with a permit to fly for its VX4 prototype. Vertical is required to submit documentation to the CAA to move through each test flight phase, including extensive detailed documentation covering every aspect from safety protocols and engineering specifications to operational procedures. Further down the line, Vertical will conduct thrust-borne flight testing, which will see the VX4 take off and land vertically, as well as conducting low-speed flight maneuvers with lift generated by the propellers. Additional stages include wing-borne or conventional flight and piloted transition flight. AeroTime is a global, multi-channel, digital, and professional hub, providing news, events, and advisory services to the aviation world. Be sure to subscribe to our newly relaunched YouTube channel and follow us on social media to get the latest aviation news.